Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. For those of you on Rumble, don't forget, I am renaming Better Bachelor to Odd Man Out. It is becoming my both my news channel and the men's issues, but we're just going to name it Odd Man Out for less confusion. Here on, on YouTube, it's still going to be Better Bachelor channel and Odd Man Out channel, Odd Man Out news for my news stuff. So I know it's a little confusing while I make all these adjustments, but since I'm streaming almost daily now over on Rumble for a couple hours, I want to kind of conglomerate everything into my news channel. Um, so women are stealing men's reasons for not dating in a new viral video. I've got tons of videos, very, very entertaining videos. A and also I got a couple of dating, uh, three dating profiles of the day that we're going to get to all the stuff you guys usually like. So we'll get there in just a second. Um, you know, women will throw away a shiny, perfect diamond to pick up a brand new pebble. And it's an old expression. And basically what it means is someone will take something that is excellent, it's great, it's valuable, it's rare, and they'll throw it away to pick up something that is worthless but new. And that's kind of how women are dating right now. I mean, you guys have noticed it. Many of you guys in your last relationships that didn't work out or or when you were, when you were dating, uh, you said, you know, I did everything right. I was good to her. I was supportive. I did all the things she ever wanted. I was a quote unquote nice guy. And either she got bored of you, she needed something new, she found the bad boy that was excitement, she wanted the tingles, and she picked up that that new rock and threw away a good diamond. And women are doing this. And, and now, ironically, they're turning around and blaming it on men, and they're, 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 and which they've done for a long time. But the difference is now, they're literally taking red pill men's excuses for not dating and they're saying, well, this is why we don't date. So I'm gonna jump right into it. But first, a very quick message from our sponsor. Are you struggling with back taxes or unfiled returns? The IRS is escalating collections, adding 20,000 new agents and sending over 5 million collection letters to kick off 2024. In these challenging times, your best defense is Tax Network USA. Don't let the IRS take advantage of you. With over 14 years of experience, Tax Network USA has saved their clients over $1 billion in back taxes. No matter the size of your tax issues, their expertise is your advantage. They specialize in negotiating with the IRS, aiming to significantly reduce your debt. Tax Network USA doesn't just negotiate. They also protect your assets from the IRS seizures and manage your yearly returns for ongoing compliance. Importantly, they're licensed to help and with all all state tax returns and tax issues, regardless of where you live in the United States. The clock is ticking. Don't wait as the IRS steps up its game. Seize control of your financial future now. Contact Tax Network USA for immediate relief and expert guidance. Call 1-800-958-1000 or visit tnusa.com forward slash bachelor. Don't let tax issues overpower you. Turn to Tax Network USA and find your path to financial peace of mind. That's tnusa.com forward slash bachelor. And now back to me. All right. Well, good sponsor. Please check it out. I would appreciate it if you do. Uh, from the redheaded libertarian. So she says, gentlemen, is this true? And it's a video. And I'm going to bring this up full screen so you guys can see it a little bit easier. So these are the type of, of videos I'm finding of the internet about men. They're silly. They're funny. They're, they're guys, you know, sometimes being a little crazy. But, but I search all over the internet all day long. And it, all I do is I see women acting badly and guys kind of doing their normal thing. Um, I have to mute this because there's music over it. But this is a video and Red, <clears throat> the, the, the Twitter handle, the Red Libertarian says, is this what makes men, men happy? I'm not gonna play through the whole thing, but this is what men are posting. It says little things in life that make men happy. And you can, again, this is over on Twitter, of course, per usual. It's a dude opening a fridge and saying, hey, a full beer fridge, a garage beer with a dog and your buddy uh, driving, driving th like this and raising your finger and waving somebody, finding a sweet stick, right? Okay, you guys get the idea. This is what's quote unquote silly for men on the internet. This is what, uh, this is what men are doing. Now, what are the women doing? What are the women doing? This is a brand new video that, that has gone viral. And I have tons of viral videos of women behaving badly. And this is what women are posting. So men are talking about, 
MMA. Men are talking about their hobbies. Uh, some guys are talking about maybe hunting or something. Uh, men are talking about finding cool sticks, playing video games, their hobbies, their passions. Now, uh, you're going to have to put on your earmuffs. It, there's no strong language in this, but there's very strong theme in here. Uh, so if you have any younglings in the room, you may not want them to hear this particular conversation. Here we have a gal sitting in kind of booty shorts, legs wide open. She's on a podcast. I'm not going to interrupt this. I know it's rare. Usually I interrupt these things. I'm going to let all 105 uh, seconds or one minute, five seconds play without interruptions so you can hear what women are talking about on the internet. I think one of my favorite things is like getting nutted in. Really? Why? Low-key like same. Low-key same. It's just I like just, warm and like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so comforting to know that his kids are like inside me. You know Swimming. I mean? Swimming. Swimming. You yeah, you're just like. Yeah, you think they like hold I mean? their nose and you think they're. Yeah. No. I honestly feel like I just, I feel closer to people. And then, you know, everyone judges me because like I don't have a boyfriend. Yeah. And I just let people nut in me. Mm -hmm. Like if I was pregnant, I wouldn't know who the baby daddy is, but. Hold up. I, what? So your kid would come out not knowing the baby daddy? I, my kid doesn't need a dad. I didn't have a dad. I turned out pretty fine. <laughs> mm. I, I'm, pre I'm successful. My you kid doesn't successful. need a dad because I didn't have a dad and look at me now. You're, well, you're physically successful in the world of money. But are you mentally successful? Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, good. I'll be getting nutted in. <laughs> oh, the women are doing great, everybody. Oh, the women are doing great. This is... When this is what goes viral for women and what goes viral for men are, again, their hobbies or cars or driving too fast and on motorcycles or everything else, do you understand why men are avoiding women? You can't help it. This is another one. This is a feminist facing reality at 46 years old. Again, I don't really have to interrupt these. It's only about 47, 47 seconds. I'm using their own videos as our defense of why we're not dating them. Understand that. So when women say, why aren't men dating? Why are men avoiding the quote unquote good girls? These women all think they're good girls. They're good catches. They're like, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm nice. I'm successful. And in the meantime, they got body counts in triple digits. This is a, a, a feminist, 46 years old. She's finding the reality of what really happens to the nice guys out there. We've said it how many, I don't know, a million times. Where have all the good men gone? She literally, she's literally doing the meme. Being single and 46 sucks. And I'm fucking tired. And I make jokes about the fucking buffoons that I have been encountering in, in dating. But in reality, this is, this is my reality. <laughs> This is my reality. All the good men have gotten married in their 20s and 30s because they're good men. <laughs> of course, at the end of this, there's just a lot of sitting and contemplating. This is from a, an account called Red Pill Rants. Now, you're going to see a, a theme through all of these. Then I'm going to talk about the topic that is the thumbnail, which is men throwing away diamonds to go get pebbles and them turning around and saying it's us that's doing it. Here's another example just from this week over on the Whatever podcast of a woman, of a woman doing exactly what they're going to say that men are doing. The reason why I knew I needed to get a divorce was because I have a crystal clear memory of me having sex with my husband and thinking about this other guy and me th knowing in that moment I have to divorce him because if I don't get I've out of this marriage, before. I'm going to cheat on him. I'm going to try to find this. That's and I know that's really f***ed up, but I didn't want to be no, a cheater. No, it's not. It's not. That's happened to me, too. So you hear the other women chiming in. Oh, it's not. So she's with her husband. They're in the bedroom. They're having a little bit of go time. And she can't help but thinking of this guy, other guy. Just some, whatever, whoever he was, co-worker, ex-boyfriend, whatever. 
This other one's chiming in. Oh, low key me too. Now, of course, she has a neck tattoo. There's a shock there. But you're, you're seeing you're seeing the excuses. You're seeing all the themes. Oh, I have to leave them. I have to leave the great guys. I have to go chase something new, something bad. Some, and we've talked about this many, many, many times. But I'm just going to bring you the new videos that are coming out. They show you that no one's changing. None of these women are changing. They're not changing their minds. I've played this one before. It's 30 seconds. I am going to play it again quickly because it just... Th these are all, I've, all these videos I've found in the last three or four days on just surfing on X, you know, on Twitter, just surfing around looking for content. All these videos have just recently been posted. And these old ones, like, like this one, the, the ones that have been around for a while, are getting reposted because that people are noticing and, and they know it's the women, but they still want to blame it on the men for some reason. This is the hardest thing a guy can do. Um, I'm not really into nice guys because I look boys, so Period. I can't really think of anything nice that they can do. My lucky day. Hell yeah. I'm just joking. All right. And what's the worst thing a guy can do? I guess be nice. Be nice. Because sometimes if you're too nice, it gives like, oh, it's like the ick. Really? You know? Because it's like, mm, why are you so nice? Do you like when guys like degrade you type shit? Is that what you not like? Not degrade me, but like, you know. Because I feel like if a guy is nice, that means he gets no girls. And that's like a turn off. You know what I mean? We, the dating culture is so screwed up right now. It's so now when I was a younger guy and when I was still dating, if you wanted to play like if if you wanted to, I guess you'd call it play hard to get as a man. You're not really playing hard to get. You're playing hard to be interested. So like uh, it's it's kind of hard to explain, but you would talk to a woman like she was your friend and then you would maybe give her a compliment and then you'd like insult her like she was one of the guys. You'd, you'd kind of make her feel like she was in the friend zone. And then you might say something that makes her feel like maybe you might be into, into her a little bit. And you keep her confused. You keep it kind of interesting. Keep high energy, you know, because the worst thing a woman can do is not hate you or like you. The worst thing she can do is have apathy towards you, not care about you at all. That's how we used to do it. Now women are like, he has to be a player. He's got to have a, a bunch of other girls he's calling. He's got to be busy with these other women. And if he has time for me, he's probably not, you know, he's probably not good enough for me. Well, this is the, <clears throat> this thing has 166,000 likes. Admin face reveal, and she gives a link to her, to her main page. She's got a 1.8 million followers. And this, again, has 166,000 likes. Now, I'm going to have to mute this because it has music over it and it, it doesn't have any audio. But I'm going to bring it up full screen so you guys can see it easily and see what's going on. I'll narrate it a little bit for you. So if you're just listening at like a podcast or something, you know what's going on. And I've sl I slowed it down a little bit. It's only a minute long, but you'll. this has been viewed and liked 166,000 times. This is not how it works. Because it says, in search of gold... Bro lost a diamond. And and you'll you'll understand this when I show you the account holder of of this. So it's a dude sitting in a diner, a very beautiful way. It's a cartoon, by the way. Um a, a dude sitting in a diner, a very beautiful um waitress comes up and she's kind of interested and she's flirting with him a little bit, and she's like, Hey, how you doing? And he just whips out his money tips her and she gets blown off and in the meantime he's looking out a window at this bad biker chick who looks like she's a dude and it says born to be wild on her arm she's a pig she eats like a slob she's uh clumsy she's spilling her liquid or her drink all over herself and she's got attitude and he's just falling in love with her so she drops her keys can't grab them she hot wires the bike and he's like oh i gotta have her so he goes around town showing a picture of her saying, hey, can you help me find this chick? And he finds her, but she's with a, her biker boyfriend. And the biker boyfriend beats him up. They laugh at him, and he's a little bit physical with her, and, and that pisses her off. So she beats up her boyfriend, and then she gets on her bike, and all of a sudden she flips off the guy and drives off. But he's still in love. He chases after her. He's going on this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, zip line. He's going through all this stuff to chase after her, trying to desperately be a part of the 
biker chick, muscular biker chick. She rides over him, drives over him, puts him in the hospital. She gets in an accident afterwards. And they finally presents her the key to her motorcycle. And through a series of dates, they're slowly falling in love. And the story of this one, which is ironic, this is the ironic thing of this cartoon, is that number one, it shows him chasing after her, blowing off, blowing off this very, very pretty um, waitress to chase after a butch, angry, mean, um, not attractive woman who already has a boyfriend. And again, they say on this, guys will do anything but accept love from a girl who actually likes them. That's not how this works. You're going to tell me smoke show waitress who's all into this guy, he blows her off to go chase the bad girl that's a biker that already has a dude that looks masculine? That's not how this works. Now, the irony of this is he, the guy in this cartoon, actually gets the biker chick in the end, and they're happy together. That's the irony of it. But in the meantime, you have this girl that's the hot waitress saying, oh, well, these guys will chase women that don't want them, and they miss the good girls like me. This is projection. This is literally what women do to men. It's literally what women do to men, constantly. I mean, you, you, this is why I've played this, this stuff, right? She's talking about having a bunch of dudes nut in her. She wouldn't know who the baby daddy is if she had a kid, and she's single. That sounds like a whole bunch of bad boys in her life. This woman who's passed up all the good guys for all the years until she's 46 and now she can't find a good guy because they're all getting married at 20 and 30 and all that's left is a bunch of players and, and guys that want to fool around at her age. These women that say that they're thinking about other men while they're having sex with either their boyfriends or their husbands and that they low-key have to divorce or leave them to go chase the stranger. This woman... She says, oh, I don't like nice guys. I have to have the bad boy because it means he has other options. Well, if you say to yourself, okay, but why would she say this? Why would guys do anything but accept love from a girl who actually likes them? Because this is her. Now, this is her other Twitter page where she actually does her face reveal. And this is her. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll I'll pick a couple pictures out of it. But for those of you just listening... It is her in, in lingerie. It is her in bikinis. It is her with see-through shirts. It is her and just her. All alone, no female friends, no boyfriend, no husband, no children, no family. It is just selfie after selfie after selfie. That's all her account is. I, I don't know if I have this muted. I think I do. And what are her videos about? I'll put this full screen for you. For you gentlemen that want to see this stuff. And and what is it? It's just her sitting there in a lingerie top, leaning on her bed, trying to look attractive and sticking her tongue out like she's sexy. No artwork on the walls, just a bed in the middle of a plain old room. She's sleeping with the bad boys. She's sleeping with the players. She has no one else in her life. It's just a bunch of social media posts of her by herself and this one, I didn't realize it. I'm going to have to blur this because apparently in this one, she's taking her top off and it looks like she's had a boob job and you can tell because of the scars around her, her pepperoni slices. So she's had implants. And she show, this is on her Twitter page, everybody. It's on her, tw this is right on her Twitter page. And, and then she's like, well, why don't, why don't men want me? Well, I got news for you. She's got an OnlyFools account. She says, you found me. I'm the freakiest blonde on OnlyFools. You've just made the best decision. And here's her pricing structure. And and the, the type of men she's referring to is like this young guy in the club. Now, I'll, I'll put this full screen again so you can see it. These are, This is the type of man she's referencing. Now, this is a young guy. I'm not just talking about this guy in particular, but this is a guy that's surrounded by a group of friends. I don't know if he's a YouTuber or someone that's maybe a little famous and gets recognized. 
He's not a bad guy uh, or bad looking guy, but he's young. And he's out in the club with a bunch of other young ladies. And what he's doing is he's, he's fading them. He acts like he wants to kiss them. And then he turns away towards the camera. And it happens over and over and over and over and over again. And they're all getting laughs out of it. And they're all having a good time out of it. But you know, you can see in this one single video, it's the, all the same night. It's all the same evening. This dude has dozens, if not 20 women, coming up to him wanting to kiss him. And he fades all of them and turns toward the camera and has a laugh at the girl's expense. Now, me personally, I, I don't think this guy looks particularly good looking. But then again, women like a little bit more boy band looking feminized guys. And he's and you can see all night he's doing it at this club. And there's other girls standing around watching this happen. I find this fascinating. I find this fascinating. I, I'm I'm confused by it, but I find it fascinating that this guy and these girls are not unattractive. They're all slim. They're all dressed nicely. They're pretty. What gives him the ability to go up to all these girls, and they they are willing to kiss him in the club, and he can fade them over and over and over again? Either again, maybe he's popular. Maybe he's got he's popular on TikTok or something. Maybe this is what women consider good looking now. I I don't know. But the, this is the type of guy that all the women are referencing when they say men don't want us anymore. All the good guys are taken. Guys are just players. And what if this young guy, over the course of six months or a year, slept with each one of these women? And he's nice, and he's funny, and he's popular. All these women would want to be with him. But he doesn't need to be with them because he's got choices. He's got options. Because, again, this young guy right here, if he's got the ability to walk up to 20 or 30 girls and, and lean in for a kiss, and they move to kiss him, and then he fades them and laughs at a camera, and other women see this happening, and they still go in for the kiss, and then they get faded, it shows you that they're willing to take that gamble, they're willing to be embarrassed, they're willing to share him just because maybe he's hot or successful or popular or whatever. These are the men, these are the men that uh, this chick is talking about. Guys will do anything but accept love from a girl who actually likes them. This, those, that's the type of guy she's talking about. The rest of the men are invisible to her. That's what makes this so ironic. And so what are, what are men left with? Men are left with the women that are always looking for something better. They're always looking to level up. Men that get married to him, they're having relations with their wife and she's thinking about the guy down the street that she wants to leave. They're looking for a new boyfriend and want to level up, move on with their lives. Or they get the single moms. They get the, the, the girls that already have relationships and, fa and a family. Or they get the, girl, the girls like this, that everybody's getting a turn on them. Everybody's getting a turn on them. Or they get the girls like this. They have the only fool's account. Like, this is why men are moving away from dating. This is the dating show. I think it's called Popped or Balloon or... Uh, it, but it's here on YouTube. I'll play this because it's, again, it's kind of funny. Now, for a, a dudes that like a little bit of the thickness, um, they might look at this girl and say, hey, you know what? She's good looking. Again, I'm not saying that. Some dudes might. They say, you know, she's kind of thick with the double C's. She's not bad looking. Well, this this popped thing is when a woman interviews with a bunch of men, and when they say, I'm out, they pop a balloon. And, and they're saying, I'm out. Nobody's popped their balloon yet, and they've all seen her walk into the room. Now, sometimes they pop the balloon when the woman walks in. In this case, nobody popped their balloon. They waited until she opened her mouth. And what did she say? I'm also a stripper. <laughs> now, what is... Well, Damn. Um, oh. All right. Well, Nucci, that is all the balloons popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you, guys. I'm <laughs> also. So every dude, the minute she said, "I'm a stripper," they're all out. 
no one had popped their balloon before she opened her mouth. They looked at her and said, all right, I'll hear what she has to say. I'll take her out. And then she opened her mouth and every dude popped. They were out. It's not, men are not complaining about women's looks. Men are complaining that, you know, on average women are getting heavier. Men are complaining that, uh, I don't know, women are using more Botox or more makeup or fake lashes. We don't like it. But there's a lot of dudes that are saying, well, this is the market I'm in. I guess I got to give it a chance. I got to give it a chance. And then she says she she works at a club, you know, sans clothing, and the guys are out. These are the men's choices. So when 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 this viral, where the heck is it? When this viral post gets 166,000 likes and women are like, yes, that is so me. That is exactly what happens. Um, that's exactly what happens to me. Me too. All these men chasing after women that don't even want him. But I loved him. I wanted him, and he never gave me a chance. They're, they're only talking about the five percenters as they normally do. All right, let's do a, let's do a dating profile of the day. A couple of them. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, and then we'll dip out. We'll, I'll, I'll get my next video ready for you guys. This is a gal named Cooper. She posts this on Twitter. My dream boyfriend. Now, this has fifty two or 15,000 likes on it, 15,000 quote tweets, and has been viewed 66 million times. My dream boyfriend, six foot tall, three hundred dollars to $500,000 a year in total compensation. Very ambitious and driven, 27 to 33 years old, brown eyes, loves New York City, really funny but a bit weird, really kind and has a moral system, not a trust fund baby, he has to be self-made, Good taste, good listener and planner, loves running and reading, loves me a lot. This tells you everything that's important to her. Money, ambition, he's got to be good looking, he's got to be tall, he's got to have, you know, he's got to be a self-made man, not a trust fund baby, because otherwise he might run out of money, so he's got to keep making the money. He's a good, a good planner, loves running and reading, loves me a lot, so he doesn't leave me, so he doesn't cheat on me like all the other other dudes have to me because and I I looked at her profile picture she's same same thing pretty empty the rest of it here's another one for you guys now you might notice she's got showing the tan lines and it looks like her top is pulled below her breasticles and her name is cutie she says I want to get knocked up now there are so many red flags. There are more red flags than a, a Chinese parade here on this one. She says, I want to get knocked up. I'm 18. I can show you my ID. I'm four foot nine and 97 pounds. I already have three kids. I'm a single mom. Now you might be saying to yourself, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. She's 18 and she has three kids, which means... She had one at 17, probably. She had one at 16, probably. She had one at 15, probably. That is a whole lot of red flag action right there. She wants to be a mother of four by 18. But here's the good news, guys. I'm not looking to marry or get in a relationship. I prefer hookups or one night stands. I'm trying to have another baby. I dropped out of school and I don't work. I'm on benefits. I prefer men over 30 and I like cheating married guys. It makes it more fun. No STDs. I got checked in the clinic in July. I have a car so I can drive. I can host at my place. My, M-I, my place. This is what men are seeing at, at, that makes them decide and, and you know what's ironic? I got to say this. If she's super cute, if she's super cute, even if she's a mama three, she's saying, I don't want a dad in my life. I don't want a man. I, I, I want a good looking guy, decent looking guy um, that's that's cheated, cheating or married. It makes it more fun. So a dude can will probably sync up with her, say, uh, well, yeah, I'm low key married, but this really has to be on the down. In the meantime, he's like a single, you know, he's a single college dude. He'd be like, yeah, I'm married. I'm low-key. You can't tell anybody. 
And she's like, okay, cowboy, ride away, blast away, blast to the moon. In the meantime, he's given her, he's because she says she can host at her place. In the meantime, he's given a fake name, a fake background, and he has his fun with her. She ends up getting knocked up and he disappears into the night. And then our taxes, the, the taxes that I work so hard for that I must pay to the government, get paid, get get put towards her for for her horrible actions in life. This is the market for men. Did and and so this does explain a lot why men are saying I'm not going to get into relationships. I'm not going to date. I'm not going to do anything long term. So in many ways that means that uh let me see if I can find her. In many ways that means this chick is right. Guys will do anything but accept love from a girl who actually likes them. In some ways, yes, this is right now. Guys don't want to accept that love because men don't love you back. They can't love you back. They won't love you back. Because we've seen what happens too many times when a man falls in love and wants to be a good man. They get cast aside. So women uh, women are such players, and women are treating the men that actually treat them well um, women are treating those guys so bad, they're making the guys that want relationships into dudes that just hit it and quit it. They're making those dudes leave the dating scene. It's the women that are doing it to the men, and then the women complain that it's happening to them. It's because we're playing by the rules you've established. Uh, this is a chick named Grace. She's 29. And this is, again, when you're on these dating apps and when you see enough memes and you see enough of these videos and guys are like, well, that's it, I'm out, I'm out, forget it. Ladies, it's you that's doing it. It's you that are being the bad examples putting yourself on social media. This is from Grace29. I'm looking for a quickie. I just want a quickie. I want to be your dump. I'm already pregnant, so there's no reason you can't. My husband will watch. If you're not comfortable, please don't message me. Th the thicker, the better. What? Imagine you're in this situation. You're okay. You're the you're the bad boy, right? You just want to hit it and quit it. Now, this is a horrible picture of this chick. Horrible. But let's say she's you know mid to okay, and you're like, I don't care. So you roll over to her place. She lets you raw dog it. Not you shouldn't. You shouldn't do anything. <laughs> obviously. But there's going to be some dude that's probably decent looking. He's like, okay. Uh, I'm, he goes over to that place. He raw dogs it while her husband's watching. He pops off. Doesn't matter. She's already pregnant. Probably the kid's not her husband's anyway. He pops off. He gets off. He wipes himself off on the curtains, flips the bird, and walks out the door. And she's like, that's hot. And I guess this husband's like, yeah. Or the husband's like, I... I got a kid on the way. I'm married. And if I don't agree with this, she'll leave me. I'll never see my kid. And uh, um, I'll lose custody of my kid. I'll never see my kid. And I got to pay support for the next 18 years. Or I allow her to do this. Like, it's weird. it is not good. This is why men are not getting married, not having children, not getting... Because they're getting absolutely wrecked. And it's not because the in many cases... Now, in most cases, in most the overwhelming most cases, it's because, whatever, women just are unhappy or decide to move on or are thinking of that other guy while they're sleeping with their husband. But then you get the weirdos like this that fall off the rails and they're like, I want an open relationship or I, I want you to sit in the cuck chair while I get some other guy pounding on me. And if the husband's like, what? No, I want a divorce. She's like, fine. You lose custody of your kid. You're going to pay support. I'm going to go after you for alimony. Or I can bang my head into the table a couple of times, leave my bru a bruise on my forehead, and you end up going spending time in jail. And you say, well, that's crazy. My dude, there are stories all about this in the news today. This is why men are out. This is why they must be, because women have decided they will throw away all the good men to chase after the bad ones. And then they turn around and say, that's what men are doing it when it's really only about like the top one to 5% of men. This is why men are out of all these decisions. This is your daily reminder. Don't get married. Smart men don't get married. Smart men don't even date anymore. You brought it on yourselves, ladies. Mm -hmm.